Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code goodfella one boxing Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. I know a lot of people wondering what kind of went on for Isaiah and Jordan to beef the way they beefing, man. And um, John Sally went on Vlad TV and he explained, and I'll put that in the description, um, that, you know, Isaiah really didn't have no beef with Jordan. But he went home and his nephew had a Jordan jersey on. He like, nephew, what about the Pistons? He's, I'm from Chicago and we're going to rep the, uh, the Jordan. We're going to rep the Bulls. I'm going to rep the Bulls regardless. So Isaiah took it personal. But what people kind of may not know is that, you know, when that happened, the reason Isaiah didn't re really beef and didn't really like Jordan to a certain extent is because he took Chicago away from Isaiah. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. That's what it was about, freezing Jordan out in the All-Star game and just the 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 disdain. And I don't even, I mean, you can go almost to say the hatred for Michael Jordan. And, and Michael Jordan kind of gave it back to Isaiah as well, too. You know, that's the type of dude Jordan is. He hold on to stuff and he used it for motivation, but... You got to go back to when, when Isaiah was drafted, all right? Forget what year, 81, 82, something like that. And he wanted to go to Chicago. So he did an interview with Jack McCloskey, who just had, um, just recently had became the general manager for the Detroit Pistons. And Jack McCloskey, you know, he, he interviewed Isaiah, and Isaiah, you know, had a bad interview on purpose. He wanted to fall to Chicago. Ironically, the guy who went number one to the Mavericks, I believe, Mark Aguirre, he was from Chicago. Then Isaiah went number two to the Pistons, okay? But, you know, Isaiah wanted to slide. I think the Bulls was a little bit after the Pistons. He wanted to play for Chicago, but the Pistons still took him. And remember, he was a hot shot, you know, 19-year-old, uh, you know, kid coming out of Indiana, coming off a national championship for Bobby Knight. So when Jordan came to Chicago, he instantly took Chicago away from Isaiah. Instantly, like that. Hold on. Oh, that's neck injury. But he took Chicago away from from Isaiah like that, and then the whole nephew thing happened. And you know, he just you know he was jealous that Chicago was fucking with Jordan, and not him. But now down the line, he see that this is Michael Jordan. Like this is probably the, one of the greatest players to play the game. How can you compete with that? But you played for Detroit, and it wasn't no bad blood between Detroit and Chicago back then. Both both of them, before Isaiah and Michael, both franchises really wasn't good. Detroit came from Fort Wayne, and Chicago, they really ain't really been shit with jo uh, before and after Jordan. So it really wasn't no disdain between the two franchises. Chicago has something they can call their own. They had a prominent team other than the Bears and some of the other historic teams. They got the White Sox, the Cubs, and stuff of that nature, you know, it was basically Chicago was fucking with Jordan and not Isaiah Thomas. And that's what it boiled down to. People say, oh, that's some whole shit. This. But jealousy is a natural human trait. It's a natural human trait. You can't help it. People can fight it. People can. That's a natural human trait. So he, in his mind, he said he got to kill Jordan every time he go out there. And contrary to people believe, Isaiah gave Jordan buckets. And Jordan was one of the greatest defenders of all time. Probably top 10. Isaiah used to be killing Jordan, taking him to the rack, shooting on him. Obviously, Isaiah couldn't check Jordan. That was Joe Dumars who kind of kept Jordan in check. But, you know, at the end of the game, they was putting Jordan on Isaiah. That's before Pippen came into his own, and he couldn't do nothing with him, to be honest, most of the time. And obviously, the Pistons, most of the time, couldn't do nothing much with Jordan. But, you know, going on, that kind of that kind of manifested into a lot of different sticking points where, you know, you really can't feel bad for Isaiah. You know, Isaiah just, he couldn't believe that Chicago, he probably had Chicago around his finger. He couldn't believe that Chicago would do that, would turn on him. And then that kind of went into him freezing out Jordan in one of the all-star games. And, you know, then it went down to Jordan when he came up, you know, saying that, you know, he didn't want Isaiah on the U.S. Uh, uh, dream team and, you know, that kind of manifested into Isaiah giving John Stockton some fucking work and then about to work him again and Carl Malone bowing him in the head, you know. So, you know, with Jordan keeping him off the dream team, could you blame him, to be honest? 
He said, and, and it was a rumor, but it's true. He, he Michael Jordan, that type of guy to say, well, if you got Isaiah on the team, I'm not playing. Because he didn't want to play on the dream team to, to begin with. He wanted to play golf. He didn't, He already had paid his group uh, dues, you know, when he was in college, when they – when the when the NBA players wouldn't allow when he was on the, with the eighty four Olympic team, and uh, and they won Bobby Knight was the coach and they won you know go, you know, he he didn't already he didn't want to do it when they finally allowed pros in, and he ended up doing it, you know. But one of his stipulations was rumored to be I didn't want Isaiah on the team, and Isaiah still hurt to the, about that to this day. Obviously, he didn't get on the second dream team because Isaiah blew his Achilles out. When you got guys like Stockton, who you better than on the team, you got Christian Leitner that made the team before you. You know what I'm saying? They put a college kid on the team before they put you on the team. Obviously, Shaq should have been on there before Christian Leitner, but you know what I'm saying? And you ain't on the team, of course, it's going to be some bad blood. And also, what you got to remember is sport, NBA is about having a face. And they wanted Michael to be the face of the league. Isaiah and, and, and them was just in their way. So, you know, they sat there and put flagrants in there, text. They took Rick Mahorn off the team, you know. And it was like, you know, they, they, they did things that they didn't mention in that doc, the last dance, to help Jordan get over the hump. And that's why I don't respect, I don't respect certain superstars, you know what I'm saying? Because they didn't really earn it, man. They really kind of, you know, fixed their plate and put them in the booster chair. LeBron, another dude, he didn't really earn the champ. He earned no championships, man. People get mad at Kevin Durant for getting this championship and taking Kevin Garnett, taking Car Garnett advice, and saying, "Man, you might as well get your championship now instead of sitting in Oklahoma City." Everybody know Oklahoma City. They never gonna let them get a championship. Indiana, they never gonna let them get a championship. Probably, you know what I'm saying? And the NBA has people they want to win and, and be in the finals or not. And it was Magic. It was Bird. It was Jordan, and you know, for the most, you know, for the most part, now it's uh, it, it, it now it's LeBron. You know, I, like I said, I just don't have a level of respect for the respect for most of them, man. Magic and Bird, I get it. You know, they took the, they took the NBA to new heights, where well, they was getting a whole bunch of beneficial calls, and they had this most stacked team. Motherfuckers had like twenty Hall of Famers throughout the eighties the, the playing for them, from Jamal Wilkes to. Magic, Kareem, Bird, you know, Mikhail, Parrish. I mean, shit, Bill Warden. You know, had Hall of Famers up the ass. But that's this is the NBA just think it's a superstar driven league. And that shit played out now. People want to see organic basketball. But back to Isaiah, he kind of made his own bed. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he anticipated how big of a star Jordan would be. I don't think he anticipated that. And once you piss off the king, you know, you you can't roam you can't you can't roam on the premises no more. You gotta get out the country. And Isaiah became a casualty in the media as far as, you know, you know, how great he was and what he accomplished. They kinda erased that, you know, out of out of NBA history. That's what they did. They erased the pistons out of NBA history. And, Pistons should have had four rings. Isaiah threw the ball to Magic, threw the ball, ball to Bird. The, he broke, fucked his ankle up, and they caught the phantom call on Bill and Beer. They should have four rings, and maybe they couldn't ignore that so much, but they just wiped them out, out of history, and they helped Jordan get past them. Jordan wasn't just, you know, going. He didn't really do, he didn't defeat Magic, Bird at their best. That was Isaiah. But he didn't defeat the Bad Boys without Rick Mahorn. There was no Rick Mahorn, and then they put Flagris, Tex, and all the men. And, you know, at the end of the day, 90s ball was still physical. Davis boys in Indiana, the Oakley and the Knicks, you know, Chris Childs and them, they it was physical ball in the 90s still. The uh, Boston was physical. L.A. was physical still in the 80s. So they wanted to make the Pistons seem to be the bad guys. But, you know, they did it for the small market teams. And Detroit is anything that's not L.A., Boston, kind of teams like that, Chicago, you know, just because the population, they consider a small market team. They premium markets are LA and Boston and wherever like a LeBron or Jordan play at, that's what they consider the premium markets. You know, you ain't going to really see, you know, 
Indiana, Milwaukee get too many championships. That's going to move Giannis up out of there. I'm telling you, just like they did Kareem. You know, and that's the NBA is, is probably the most rigged sports out, you know, right now. It's probably the most rigged one out. But, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is going on our, I don't know, Retro Hoops playlist, maybe. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can reach out to the email. I mean, you can reach out to me on Twitter if you got business questions, quiet response, your video class, IG or Facebook. Twitter's the quickest way. Want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal there uh, in the description. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. We gone.